Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am bringing you my most recent haul from Walt Disney World. Last week, I was in Disney World with my husband and also my parents for the very first week of 2019. I rarely get to go down there with my family. Often I'm there by myself. Sometimes I'm there with friends. Every once in a while, my husband joins me, but to have Aaron and my parents all down there at the same time was super magical. Um, as always, I I did purchase a few items that I will be showing you today in this video, but I want to tell you I am really proud of myself. I think I have turned over a new leaf in terms of Disney shopping. Part of my 2019 goals is to kind of downsize my Disney collection a little bit, not really in like a minimalist way, but I just wanna curate my collections a little bit better and be a little bit more discerning about the items that I bring into my life and into my house and honestly, I found very few things that I wanted to buy when I was in the parks last week. Just like nothing was jumping out at me. I saw a few things that I was like, well, do I really want to spend my money on this? And do I really want to bring this into my home? And very often the answer was no. So I think this might end up being my smallest Walt Disney World haul ever. I mean, I do still have a few things, um, but I, yeah, it's kind of small compared to previous ones. And I feel really proud of that. So I'm going to pat myself on the back. I don't know if that's disappointing for you guys, but I just feel like really good about the things that I chose to bring home with me and I did not like break my bank account and I was just like a really good kitty on that trip. So I'm gonna get into the haul, but I just wanted to put that out there, a little moment of self-congratulations for not going totally off the deep end with my shopping. I think it's gonna be a very good responsible 2019 for me. All right, the first item that I'm gonna share with you is probably my favorite thing that I purchased on this trip and it is also the very last thing that I purchased on this trip so maybe I'm going in reverse order or you know who knows what I'm doing but as I've mentioned several times on my channel recently I have developed a kind of strange love and obsession toward Tinkerbell the character of Tinkerbell and I used to kind of hate her because I thought she was so mean but I had an epiphany and I suddenly kind of get I get her, I get where she's coming from. I love her child-likeness. Um, I love her attitude and I love that she's not afraid to just put her emotions right out there. Like I'm digging Tinkerbell a lot lately so I really wanted to find a special Tinkerbell souvenir for my trip and I looked around a lot, like a lot, a lot and there were some Tink-related items but none of them really spoke to me. Like I didn't really wanna put them out in my house or they had like kind of cheesy, sayings on them and I just I wasn't that into the cheesy sayings because I'm just not that cheesy okay let's be real I actually am pretty cheesy but they, they just weren't doing it for me and on my very last day I was in Epcot in mouse gear and I saw this figure kind of up on a shelf with some other fancy figures and I was like oh my gosh like I love her pose I love her attitude she's sitting on like a little children's um, nursery block and her wings look so beautiful so let me give you the close-up I this was the thing that I thought this is a, a worthy first Tinkerbell purchase for me so here is the base it's an alphabet uh, building block and then I just love her like sassy um, kind of sexy pose that she has She's looking over her shoulder. I love the expression on her face. And I just think she looks really beautiful. And then I also love how big and glittery and delicate her wings looked. I own very few Tinkerbell items. The couple of Tinkerbell things I have mostly came to me um, in subscription boxes. So this is the first item I've actually purchased for myself. And I'm really, really happy with it. I think it was about $50, which isn't cheap. I did have my annual pass discount, which is helpful. But once I got it home, I discovered a little switch on the bottom, and when you flip the switch, her wings actually light up. So I was really surprised to notice that little detail when I got it home to my house. So I've actually um, put this out by my bed, and when I'm reading at night, I, I turn the wings on. They're not exactly 
strong enough to be a reading lamp but it's kind of like ooh, I'm I'm reading by the light of, of pixie dust see I told you I'm, I'm a total cheese ball anyway this is my one Tinkerbell item that I bought I'm really really happy with it and I'm gonna start like it's just a small collection of beautiful Tinkerbell things probably mostly pins but I'm really excited to have her I've decided that she's kind of my mascot for 2019 the next item I will show you I also found at the very very end of my trip like literally about an hour before I had to leave for the airport I spotted this in mouse gear in Epcot um, and I was kind of looking through the the a rack of keychains and key rings hoping I would find a cute Tinkerbell one which I didn't but I did find this amazing Haunted Mansion Doom Buggy keychain with the uh, three hitchhiking ghosts in the background and I had never seen this before. I love Haunted Mansion and I love like classic ride vehicles like the boats and Small World and Pirates of the Caribbean and I love like the Disney train and I love like the people mover and I love you know like all the vehicles basically and I love Doom Buggies so much it's just like this is the whole attraction to me is like you get in the doom buggy and it says do not pull down on your lap bar i will lower it for you and i just love it so much so i'm really excited to find this keychain that was a lot of talking about a keychain but look at how awesome this is i really think it's amazing and then um on the back there's this little button that you can hit and you can get like this <laughs> kind of seizure inducing blinking light or you can just have like um, like a steady light that just lights them up uh, kind of from the front and they look all spooky and, and hitchhiking ghosty or you can turn the light off but I thought it was such a cool souvenir I had never seen this before there were only like three of them on the rack um, so even though I was kind of enjoying not buying much I thought well if I don't get that now I might never see it again um, so I'm really glad that I did get it the next thing I'm going to share with you was not actually something I purchased. It's something that I received as a gift from my friend Sarah Beth, who I was able to meet up with super briefly uh, when I was down there in Walt Disney World. And this is actually not something that you can purchase. It's something that she made by hand for me. So it's, um, it's one of a kind, but Sarah Beth is very crafty and she crocheted for me a cowl uh, in the theme and in the colors of Snow White. Isn't this incredible? Um, she gave this to me and my jaw was like on the floor. I was like, oh my God, you made this? And she's like, yeah, I like to crochet. <laughs> but like, it's so incredible. It's so beautifully made. It's all in um, Snow White colors. Snow White is my, my favorite princess, like classic classic leading lady princess it's got her bow on it which is incredible and her black hair and it's just it's such a beautifully like thought out um, and beautifully crafted gift and I can wear it I'm gonna put it on like with a dress and wear it to the symphony um, this winter it's so so gorgeous it's so well done I love the buttons that she chose it really is just amazing so not something that you can purchase in the parks but something that was gifted to me by um, by a dear friend and someone that I met in the online Disney community and also by someone who is way craftier and way more talented than I am. So Sarah Beth, if you're watching, thank you so much. I love it. Sarah Beth does have an Instagram. It's just around the river trend. Sometimes she sells her pieces and she makes all kinds of cool things like hats and bracelets and apparently she does crochet and I think she's working on ears like so many things. So I will link to her Instagram account um, down in the description box below. I don't know that she's always selling things, but I think it can Occasionally, um, she does like custom pieces and things. So I'll link to her her Instagram just around the, the river trend down below. The next thing I will share is also not something that you can purchase at the parks. However, if you dine at the restaurant Tiffin's in Disney's Animal Kingdom, which is one of my favorite on-property restaurants for sure, they give you um, this little souvenir drawing. And the deal with the drawings is there's a bunch of them. They're collectible. So every time you go to Tiffin's and dine there, which isn't cheap by the way they give you kind of this take-home um, drawing by some of the Imagineers and the deal is that as they were doing their traveling and research to design the Animal Kingdom theme park um, the drawings are kind of after special places on their travels so this one is of a village in Bali did not have this one but I would love to go there that looks absolutely stunning and it kind of does look like some of uh, the areas and special spots that are hidden away in Disney's Animal Kingdom Tiffin's is one of the Walt Disney World signature restaurants meaning it's kind of on the pricey side and if you're on the 
dining plan it actually costs you two table service credits um, however if you have a slightly adventurous palate and you want to have like a civilized adult sit-down meal I think their food is excellent I've, I've never been disappointed and everything is really really delicious so big fan of Tiffin's and I love my little art card believe it or not you guys we are already nearing the end of this haul basically all I have left to share with you is a handful of pins that I had planned to pick up and then this one item that Aaron actually bought my husband Aaron never buys anything at Disney World because he just doesn't want Disney stuff he's not that into it um, but he did buy this and I was so proud because now I think he officially owns two Disney things total so good job sweet husband of mine but the story is in January it can be quite cold in Walt Disney World however we experienced kind of a heat wave we had days that were like in the 80s it was absolutely gorgeous weather except for one morning when we had booked um, a guided tour in Magic Kingdom and we were so used to the warm weather that um, we all went out without our coats and jackets um, and we froze we froze our butts and I had kind of like a sweatshirty thing but my my husband was in short sleeves and he was just shivering and freezing his tush so he wanted to buy a Disney World zip-up hoodie so he found one um, in one of the shops I think he found it in the Emporium um, on Main Street and it's this big gray zip-up hoodie it's very cozy and I love it because it's kind of old-school just like my uh, just like my hubby it says Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse Club but the best thing about this hoodie is what it says on the back it says see you real soon which is, of course, part of the Mickey Mouse Club sign-off. It's part of my YouTube sign-off. And Aaron loves See You Real Soon because it means we're leaving the parks. In fact, we had this ongoing joke on this trip that Aaron's favorite attraction at Walt Disney World was the exit. So we took all these photos of him giving a thumbs up as we exited the park. He actually does have a good time in the parks. He just pretends to be more curmudgeon-y than he is. But when he saw this, like, See You Real Soon, Peace Out Disney World sweatshirt, he knew it was, like, made for him. So... This is the one thing that Aaron purchased. I think it was only $40 retail price, um, which is pretty good for a Disney hoodie, um, especially an adult Disney hoodie. And then he got 20% off because of my annual pass. So he also liked it because it was cheap for Disney and had to do with exiting the park. So there you go, kind of a fun, goofy little souvenir for my spouse. All right, all I really have left to share with you from my trip is a handful of pins. And I did not go crazy on pins. I was really good about pins. There were only a couple pins that I knew were being released that I wanted to get and I got them and I didn't get anything else and I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> the first pin I was able to acquire on this trip was the Walt Disney World 2019 Happy New Year limited edition pin. Um, there was one in Disneyland featuring Aurora and Prince Philip and then there was one in Disney World featuring Cinderella and Prince Charming. They're both beautiful pin designs. I think they sold out very quickly and actually my friend Corey um, from the YouTube channel Cory Fiasco uh, gave this to me as a gift because um, we were worried that it would sell out before I got there on the evening of January 1st and I, and I think it maybe actually did sell out before I got there um, but it's a gorgeous pin let me give you a close-up I love the backer card first of all with the fireworks and the the gold um, writing but then the pin itself is just gorgeous it's the face of a clock it opens up and on the back of the stained glass element it says 2019 Happy New Year and then in the center you've got Prince Charming kissing Cinderella's hand, and I love like just the whole clock face design. I love clocks, trains, nerdy things like that. So even though I don't collect Cinderella, this is a nice memory pin for the trip, and I just love the design. I just think it looks really, really sharp and also nerdy. <laughs> so big, big thank you to my friend Corey of Corey Fiasco for the gift. I love it. I will link to Corey's channel down in the description box below. Go check him out. Um, and also hello to his wife, Haley. I, I'm so glad I finally got to meet them both on this trip. They're lovely human beings and you will be seeing them in some upcoming vlogs for sure. The next pin I got on this trip is the final Lunchtime Tales monthly pin series. This is a series that was released at Walt Disney World every single month of 2018, and they were all these little um, lunch boxes that opened up to reveal some special Disney-themed food inside, and the last lunch box in the series was themed after Mulan. Mulan had an anniversary in uh, 2018, so there's been lots of Mulan pins lately. Um, so this is the cover of the uh, lunch box looks like the movie poster and then you open it up and inside you can see the uh, 
thermos with mushu on it. I can't really see it that well in my viewfinder. You can see some um, bacon and eggs. I think you can see some dumplings in the back, but it just, they're super adorable. I love this whole pin series. I am now a Lunchtime Tales completist. I have all 12 months. I think I might make a video and show all 12 of the lunch boxes in, in one video because they're just such cool pins. Ooh, I just found something in my bag that I actually forgot about. It's kind of a pin, um, but kind of like a freebie souvenir. Freebie souvenir, because nothing is really free at Disney. Um, this is actually my name tag from the guided tour that I took with my family. We all took the Marceline to Magic Kingdom tour in Magic Kingdom one morning, the cold morning when my husband bought the sweatshirt. And when you take the tour, everybody gets their own personalized name tag, which you do get to keep once the tour is over. Okay, this next pin I will show you is pretty much the last like individual pin I had my eye on and had planned to purchase on this trip. And it is the first pin in a new series of monthly pins that um, are coming out, I think in Disney World and Disneyland, maybe just Disney World. I'll have to double check on that for 2019. It's the first pin in the vintage vinyl series. So Disney is doing another vintage inspired pin series, probably due to the popularity of the vintage um, lunch boxes. But these look like little um, vinyl record sleeves and the first month was for Dumbo and then the record actually slides out. It says Walt Disney's Dumbo and you've got Timothy the Mouths with some um, peanuts uh, at the center of the record. But I love like the cool sliding element that you can pull the record um, in and out. I love Dumbo, huge fan of this movie very interested to see what the live action film is going to be like and I was not not going to get this. I'm not sure if I'm going to collect all 12 of these. I'm thinking that I might but I'm kind of curious to see which movies um, come out for the next the next few releases but this might be my 2019 monthly pin collection that I will complete. We'll, we'll see. Still got my eye on a few other things that are coming out later this month. That is almost it for pins and almost everything I bought. The only other things I bought were um, Disney mystery pin boxes. Two new series were released very recently. There was a princess series where it had the princess with a very glittery letter of her first name, like they're super blingy, super gorgeous. And then also on the last day of my trip, the uh, mouse party Mickey Mouse icon set was released at Walt Disney World. And I wanted to film unboxing videos of both of those those pin sets so I bought several boxes of each. Those unboxing videos have already been uploaded to my channel. I will link them down below if you didn't watch them but spoiler alert I will show you the pins that I got from those boxes. Um, but the ones on the top two row are from that princess set. This is an open edition set so you've got Ariel, Belle, Cinderella, Jasmine, Rapunzel, Snow White, and Tiana. I did get doubles. I've already put those on my trader board but this is almost the complete set I think I need three two of which are already in the mail to me and then these are the mouse party pins I got I was able to complete this set there were nine total for Walt Disney World I did get them all um, between the various boxes that I unboxed my favorite one is this spaceship earth kind of vintage Epcot Mickey one in the center I also really love the Sorcerer's Apprentice one and the Hollywood Studios one there's just honestly like one of my favorite mystery pin sets that's been released in a long time. I did get some doubles, but those are also in my trading pile as well. So those are my mystery pins that I got on my trip. I did both of those unboxings with my very sweet and patient husband, Aaron. So if you missed those videos, I'll link them down below. They're pretty silly. My husband's pretty funny with pin unboxings. Um, so check those out if you haven't. But that's it. That's the end of my haul. I know that's not like a small haul, but for me, it's a it's actually a fairly small haul. Like I didn't go crazy. I didn't buy any ears. I didn't buy any hats. I didn't buy a sweatshirt. I didn't buy any mugs. I didn't buy any plush. Like I was pretty darn good. So yay, hopefully this is the beginning of a new, slightly less expensive trend in my, uh, my Disney shopping uh, hobby. But I really hope you enjoyed the haul. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which item or which pin was your favorite. Or if you have been to Walt Disney World recently or you're planning a trip, let me know which souvenir you're most excited to get or that you were most excited to take home with you. That's all I have for today. Trip vlogs will be coming really soon. Like I think this coming Wednesday, I'll get the first video out finally. Um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Have a magical rest of your day and I will see you real soon. Bye guys.